Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use, how to program the MSP430 on Debian Linux using MSP Debug and MSP430 GCC. So, first thing you're going to do is open up terminal and you're going to want to install GCC MSP430 and MSP Debug. So to do that, you're going to want to log in as root. Now, of course, if you're on Ubuntu or something like that, it's going to be very, very similar, except for the fact you're going to be using um, sudo, probably. You don't have to. But So now we're going to search for what packages we have available. So you might want to try um, getting um, just updating your list to see, uh, make sure that it's you know up to date with everything. Then after you have that, which shouldn't take very long, depending upon how fast your internet speed is and how slow your computer is, um, once that's done, you're going to do an apt cache search for MSP430. As you can see, um, we have the list. So we're going to want this gcc-msp430 and we're going to want this one msp debug. Other ones, I mean, if you have a problem, then you might want to install them, but in theory, I think like this one gets installed um, on its own. I think this one might get it installed on its own. So with those other packages. Now to install them, obviously I have them installed already. You're going to do apt get install gcc-msp430 as you can see I have the newest version and to install the other one obviously it's the exact same thing except MSP debug and it's gonna go through you know whether or not you want to install it blah 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 how much space it's gonna use etc etc so now that we have that installed we're gonna go log in back to um, my normal user and we're going to have to compile some code so before you can compile the code you're gonna have to get the code so um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go maybe into a directory. So I'm going to go into documents um, and I'm going to make a directory um, and I'm going to call it code. I do have to give it some kind of... Um, so now we're going to go into code, that directory I just made, and we're going to create a new file, main.c. So now that we have this open, what we're going to do is we're going to go, you know, you can get this from anywhere. I got this on the internet. This example code for C. So we're going to copy that and paste it right in here. Paste. And we're going to go Control X. Do you want to save the changes? Yes, I do. And now we're going to want to compile it. So to compile it, you're going to go MSP 430 dash gcc main dot c dash mmcu is equal to and now here's where it might change for you depending upon what actual processor you have so for me I know I have the MSP 430 g2553 but if you look at your if you if you don't know for yours or for some reason that's not working what you do is you look at your processor and whatever it says on the actual chip itself is what you're going to be putting there. So I have the MSP430 G2553, which is there. I did not make this picture, by the way. As long, it is the same as the code. I did not make it. I got it on the internet, so credited to them. Okay, so now that you do that, we're going to hit enter. It should compile. Now we're going to go see what's in our directory. Now, as you can see, we have an a.out file, if I can find my mouse. Well, anyway, so there's an a.out file here, which is the compiled version. All right, so now we're going to have to load that file onto the MSP430. So to do that, we're going to use MSP debug. Now, before you can really do anything with MSP debug, you have to know what processor you have uh, or what how you interface with that processor using uh, MSP debug. So to do that, you have to do MSP debug dash dash USB dash list. It'll give you a list. 
and as you can see um, here's the the driver so now if you don't know what your thing is and you have a huge list of whatever and you don't know what it is what I would do and this is how you actually how I found out is go to the manual so man MSP debug debug okay scroll down to where you see something about devices yeah. so as you can see right here um, RF2500 uh, is um, the launch pad whatever so that's what I'm using and obviously you could have a different one depending upon what it shows up in that list so for me what you're going to want to do is for me it's going to be MSP debug RF2500 as you can see I have loaded in and you can't see my processor but it did actually react to that now it's in debug mode right now so any program that was on there originally will not be running it'll be in like step mode so you can step through your codes using step etc etc and it'll give you some information um, of course we could do like a memory dump with this um, MD 0x 200 and 1128 bytes bytes yes um, and as you can see there's stuff in there okay so to program the to program the actual MSB 430 we're gonna do prog and that file name that we did before now keep in mind that this is looking in the current directory that you called MSP debug in so if you are running in a different directory um, or you have multiple different uh, compilations in different directories you're gonna have to keep that into account um, I just run it within that directory because I find it the easiest but then again you know maybe you're different so we're gonna program a dot out P R O G a dot out hit enter and as you can see it programmed the MSP 430 now we're still in step mode or still in debug mode so if you step through the code that'll work if you exit MSP debug it's gonna go into its normal uh, state so that basically the processor is just running the code whatever was on there so if you want to actually run it, you're going to do run, hit enter, and you can't see it, but my processor is now blinking a red light, which is what the code was supposed to do. So it's working, um, and all is fine. Well, that really concludes the tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you want me to make more MSP430 or anything else tutorials, I will be happy to. Just leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.